All right, now private share is a brilliant feature offered by Samsung on Samsung Galaxy phones using which we can uh, send a file to a designated receiver and we can also revoke the permission from the receiver. Now this feature has been there for a while but Samsung has been making some changes in terms of accessibility of this feature. We did receive an update for private share feature recently and in the change log it says private share will be integrated as part of quick share or private share features will be available with private sharing function in quick share menu itself. Now, now this is something you guys should know because if you want to share something on private share it will not be available anymore on these settings earlier it used to be available in the settings menu itself you can just search for private share and access private share menus but now we don't have that option it has been integrated into quick share now in this video i'm going to show you how you can use private share it is kind of interesting now let me just open gallery application here now i will open any of the files over here now i'll tap on share now here while sharing, you get this sharing menu where you can select quick share. I'll tap on a quick share here. Now here also you will not be able to see the private share option. On the top you will see Samsung Galaxy devices. Then you've got QR code option where you can also share the link. When I tap on QR code you will be able to see a QR code generated for that particular file. And you can also copy the link right from here. So link sharing is also available here. And then you'll also find some other devices here. Now what you need to do is you need to tap on this three dot button on the top right corner. Here you will see an option turn on private sharing. Now when I tap on this we will be able to see the private sharing options here. You see on the top it says file you can share are encrypted and expire after the time you set. Only Galaxy users can view shared files. So we will be able to private share the files only to another Galaxy user. Now here you have got an option to set an expiry date. Let me just tap on this expiry date here. I will uh, select one day and uh, zero hour zero minutes i'll tap on done now the expiry date has been set now for some reason it is not showing me my s22 ultra so i just replaced it with my galaxy z fold 5 uh, this is showing up right here on uh, share to my devices now what i can do is i can share this file uh, privately uh, to this device i'll just tap on z fold 5 you see i'm receiving a file here now this is interesting let me open this particular file as you can see it says valid until 8th december 7 35 am now let me just open this as you can see this is a privately shared file and you can also see the watermark on this particular file so nobody can use this file anywhere because you've got your uh, private share id here and you've got the date uh, the expiry date also mentioned right here on this uh, file this is just brilliant you know it's quite private anything that you share any images or videos that you're going to share will have this watermark on the image so that the other person cannot misuse your file and this will of course get expired within the set expiry date this is brilliant now if you don't want to share it privately all you need to do is just turn off private share and now select again the phone that you want to share it with now when you get the file here let me just open it now you can see there is no watermark on this and there is no expiry date set now let me select some other file here i'll select this particular screenshot and tap on share go to quick share tap on this three dot button turn on private share now i can tap on z45 to privately share this particular image and when i open it you can see we have got this image here i'll just open this image now uh, you can see the watermark here now here when i tap on this three dot button and open details you can see it shows the expiry date and the activity as well now this is not the only way to send files on private share we can also share it directly to the contact as you can see here share files with contacts even if they are not nearby you can view the contact and select the contact and directly share it the file will get uploaded to cloud and the contact that you're sharing will be receiving that link to download that particular file now let's try to share a quick video and see how it works i'll go to the gallery and uh, open a particular video clip here this is just a three second video i have got i'll just tap on share and quick share turn on private share expiry date is set to two days by default let me select z45 i got the video i'll open it now let's open this video let's see if there is a watermark on this yes we do have watermark on this video this is just brilliant any video file that you send will also have a watermark when you send it through private share feature now if you want to check out the private share uh, history what you can do is you can tap on settings and uh, tap on connected devices now here you will see an option quick share 
on the top just open that under quick share we have got private sharing history just tap on this to check uh, which are the files that you have already shared as you can see you can uh, we have got a z45 here i'll just tap on this we have got these three files which have been shared you can see under sent we have got this and when you tap on received you will see the received files right here and from here you can see we have got plus button we can also share the files right from here i'll tap on plus button i will tap on images now from here you'll be able to share any images to the uh, same contact i'll tap on done you see this entire folder is for z45 so whatever you add here will be sent to this phone by default and from here we will also be able to revoke the sharing let me show you how to do that let me just select this particular image you see we have got an option change expiry date revoke sharing so we can do both right here now let me uh, tap on change expiry date as you can see you can change the dates here uh, when you tap on revoke sharing uh, the file will be revoked i'll just tap on revoke as you see the file has been revoked and this will not be available on this phone fantastic isn't it now if you want to add more files you can directly add more files to this particular device the z45 and those files will show up on this phone this is how the private sharing works on samsung galaxy phones and now it has been hidden inside the quick share menu so if you haven't explored it yet go ahead check it out and i think you should make use of this feature whenever necessary whenever you want to share a file temporarily to somebody with the expiry date let me know what do you think how many of you guys have explored this already uh, have you been using this or not drop a comment and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video useful thanks for watching my name is salian sunning off cheers bye bye